Hey guys, and welcome to the start of a random weekend reading vlog. So I wanted to do a reading vlog just because I haven't done one in ages, and I am actually done with the school year for the most part. I only have two days left, Monday and Tuesday, and they are both half days, so I'll be done with school by like noon or one o'clock. So just having that free time, I don't know, just made me want to do a reading vlog for you guys. And this is actually the last year that I'm working in the school district that I've been employed with for about six years. I ended up getting a new job with a school district uh, way closer to my house that I have wanted to work in for years. And it's very competitive and the opportunity presented itself and I got hired. I had orientation yesterday. So I'm super stoked to be starting like at a new school district come fall. But as you can see, my entire classroom <laughs> Is in the back of my car. Um, I packed up everything today and my you know, dear husband helped me pack it all into my car. So I'm gonna have to unpack this, put it somewhere in the house and then drag it all back into my new classroom come August. But I'm super excited also to have this little break, you know, before starting my new position. So I just wanted to say hey to you guys. And I also um, do have some bookish mail. I ordered two books off Amazon and I got an email saying that they'd been delivered. So I'm going to unbox those for you guys real quick and um, probably start reading one of the books because I really want to read both of them. My husband is playing golf right now. It's four o'clock in the afternoon and he had a late tea time. So he's probably not going to get home till super late. So I'll have like a nice quiet evening for myself to make some dinner, relax on a Friday night and just start a new book. And I'll also go through with you guys what I'm currently reading. All right. So here is what I ordered. So I ordered Bend Her by Cassie Alexander. This is like a spicy Beauty and the Beast retelling. I really have never read from this author before, never heard of her, um, but I found it on Amazon and Beauty and the Beast is my favorite fairy tale and I've just been in the mood for, you know, some dark spicy books and actually it feels like a self-published book. Let's see, normally you can tell by looking in the back here. It might be, looks like it. So that's cool. And then I have Hooked by Emily McIntyre. I just finished Scarred by her and um, enjoyed it. So I wanted to read more of her books. So this is the one I'm going to start. And this is loosely, loosely based off of um, Peter Pan, like, like loosely. <laughs> and I think it's like takes place in modern day. Um, so this is the one I'm going to start tonight. And I think Hook is the love interest. I think in this series, her um, Never After series, all of the like, all of the love interests are villains. So these are the two books that I got. And stay tuned once I read them for reviews. Hey guys, so I'm in the middle of making some zucchini bread. I probably should have like started this <laughs> when I started making the bread. Um, but I have um, a zucchini from my plants out back and it's a little bit bigger. Um, I didn't realize that it was growing. It was all the way at the bottom. Um, so I'm not really sure how it's going to taste. So I figured I would just make zucchini bread with this. So I already have all the flour and seasonings and sugar and all that in this bowl and then my eggs, uh, vanilla extract and oil in this bowl. So I'm just going to whip this up and then I will grate my zucchini, put it all together. And then this loaf makes, or this recipe makes two loaves. Here's my zucchini bread. As you can see, I've already taken a huge chunk out of it. It came out so good. It is really, really sweet and moist and just came out really good. So the recipe called for two loaves. So we will definitely be eating on these for like the next week or so. Hey guys, so I just got done filming a couple of booktube videos and I wanted to update you with what I'm currently reading because this is a reading vlog and I don't think I've even shared with you what I'm currently reading. Um, but I'm currently in the middle of three books, which is insane, but that's me. So the first thing is Shift by Hugh Howey. This is book two in the Silo series, and I'm on page 130. And we are actually 
following like different characters in this book and it actually uh, takes place um, in two different timelines. The first one is the year 2049 roughly and the second is the year 2110. And one of the things that really interested me about book one was the origin of the silo. Like what was the purpose of them? And that is all starting to be explained in this book. So I'm actually really enjoying it. And the more I read, the more is like coming to light and keeping me gripped. And then I'm reading Abaddon's Gate, which is book two of The Expanse by James S.A. Corey. Ooh, it's not very comfortable to sit like this. <laughs> um, book two of his Expanse series or their Expanse series, it's a author duo. And um, I'm listening to this on audio from my library, and I'm actually really enjoying the audio. Um, so it's been a while since I've read book one and book two. So I had to kind of go back and do a like a recap of what the first two books were about. But we're still following like Holden and Naomi and, and that crew. And then we're also now following um, one of the Mao girls who is essentially going after Holden, like to get him back for what he did to their family. So there's like a vendetta type storyline. And then we're also following a new character named Bull. And he is kind of like a law enforcement type person. And all of these three characters are on three different ships and they are all going towards the ring. So that is what is happening. <laughs> We're getting more knowledge about the ring, which to be completely honest, I had to like go back and read about like all of that. So it's fun. This is a series that obviously I want to get through the whole thing, just kind of staple in the sci-fi space opera type community. So, and I'm currently on page 210, which I think is about 40% of the way through like the book. And then lastly, I'm reading Hooked. This is the book that I just unboxed for you guys by Emily McIntyre. And it's got elements of Peter Pan. It's not a Peter Pan retelling. But for example, um, the love interest, um, his name is James Barry, or I think last name is Barry. So like, from who wrote Peter Pan. But then he's also got a nickname called Hook because he uses this like hooked knife as a weapon. The um, love interest, the female's name is Wendy, so on and so forth. So there's like little elements of Peter Pan that's in the book, but it's, it's not a Peter Pan you're telling. And what I will say is there are elements of this book that are um, eerily similar to Scarred, which is the other book I read by her. So for example, um, the male lead is a villain. These are villain gets the girl type stories, but he was abused. James in the story was abused by someone in his family, just like Tristan and Scar was abused by his older brother. Um, we have the fact that James gets off on violence. Tristan got off on violence. We have the two female leads in Scarred. We have Sarah, who was like, you know, innocent, um, less so than Wendy. Wendy's like completely innocent, but like, all of these tropes are the same exact tropes and ideas that I just read in Scarred. So I literally feel like already I'm reading the same exact story, just a different setting, different character names, which is really, really upsetting for me. Um, I don't want to say upsetting, but like disappointing. So I'm currently on page 52. Um, and I guess maybe this author is known for writing those types of stories, um, but hopefully there's more variety and that it's not just like the same story, same tropes, same characters, um, repeat on repeat for every single book she writes, just, you know, different circumstances. Um, because if that's the case in this book, I find to be too similar to Scar, then I'm not going to read any more of her work. Um, but obviously I'll finish it. It's going to be fun. I'm sure there's going to be some good romance, some good smut scenes. So I'm excited for it in that sense, but stay tuned for my review. So that is it for what I am reading guys. Um, today is Sunday. I've already got dinner cooking in the crock pot. I do plan on getting to the gym in a little bit. And then I forgot to like film really yesterday. So I wanted to like talk about what I was reading and then let you guys know that I was going to take you to the gym um, because I did leg day yesterday. So I actually did like film my leg day. It just was a weird day yesterday. But I forgot to tell you guys that. So if you want, like I'll insert those clips right now of my Saturday leg day. And today is upper body. So tricep, shoulder, chest. And I feel like 
those are way less exciting to film. So I don't really know if I'm going to take you guys along uh, for my upper body day. I might. We'll see. Um, but that's really all I have planned. And then I just need to um, kind of organize some of the stuff I had to bring home from my classroom, get it out of my car, organize it for the summer kind of have that done. So just chores around the house, things like that. Um, but I do plan on getting some more reading in and I will check back in with you guys when I do. guys so today is Monday and I thought I would go ahead and just continue this vlog because I feel like I really didn't get that much content for you guys over the last couple days um, but I got home from work early today because it's a half day at school tomorrow's the last day of school so I was able to get off early so I thought I'd come home and catch up on some reading I'm just waiting for my husband to get done with work and then um, you know we'll probably go do a workout and then that'll be that so I'm gonna read for a little bit so I thought I would just do a quick like reading clip for you guys. So I think I'm going to start off with Silo and then I'm going to jump into Hooked because I do tend to go back and forth <laughs> um, when I'm reading more than one book at a time. Um, excuse the mess in the background. Y'all, I am out of bookshelf space, like officially. I have to get another bookcase, which I think is going to go right here on this wall. Like I, I just don't have any more room. So uh, let's go ahead and get to it. Okay, guys, so I'm now on chapter 23 of uh, Shift by Hugh Howey, and man, he keeps, like, introducing new things to the plot that only is creating new questions. Like, I have no idea what's going on. I have all these new questions, and it's kind of like a cliffhanger, kind of, like, leaving me wanting to know what's going on, because I really could not tell you, and this is supposed to be kind of like the origin leading up to how the silos were built and why and instead of answering questions he's just giving me new ones so that's fun but still really enjoy really enjoying this um it's gonna take me a little while to get through because it's almost 600 pages but man so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go make myself a coffee because I have a little bit of a headache and sometimes caffeine helps with that and then I'm gonna delve back into hooked and I'm currently on chapter 15 in hooked um just got through a spicy scene on the last time I read chapter 14. Oh boy. <laughs> so that was pretty good. So I'm actually enjoying this quite a bit as well. So I'm going to go make my coffee, come back and jump into this bad boy. Hey guys. So I thought I would just go ahead and close out this short reading vlog. I know that I like ended the last clip kind of like on a cliffhanger um, because I was going to grab my coffee, come back and read some more, but the hubby ended up getting done with work early and we went and did a workout instead. So just to wrap up what I've read, I did go ahead and finish Hook by or Hooked by Emily McIntyre. I will say I like this just as much as Scarred. Um, the story was pretty good. It was entertaining. I liked the female lead better. Um, at times I thought she like needed to stand up for herself more. Um, and there were parts about the male lead that I didn't like. Like I said, all of her male leads are unlikable from my experience. Um, and this one was no exception. There were times where James kind of roughed up Wendy um, because he thought that she had betrayed him. And I didn't really like those scenes that much. But other than that, this was enjoyable. I managed to get 80% of the way through um, Abaddon's Gate, or yeah, Abaddon's Gate. I always get the names of these books mixed up. So I'm currently on uh, chapter 44, so I have about 100 pages left, and I have three hours, four hours of the audiobook left, between three and four hours. So I'm hoping to get this done before it expires, because it expires in four days. So if I can knock out an hour a day, I'll be good. Um, but still enjoying this. I do feel like a lot of this story centers around like the day-to-day -day 
type interactions between the characters and there's one big event in that the story and the entire book revolves around that main event so I do feel like there were parts that are dragging um, but other than that it was a good audiobook choice and then I am still reading Shift, and I've gotten a good way of, uh, through this as well. I'm on page 304, chapter 47, and I, I really don't have much more to say about this. It is a very dense book, and Hugh Halley is slowly, slowly, slowly unfolding things in this world and events that led up to what we learned in book one. Um, very slowly, <laughs> just leave it at that. So I'm hoping to get this done in the next... Uh, God, it would be great if I could get it done in the next couple days. So that's where we're at. Um, so I just wanted to update you guys with what I have been reading. And I will see you guys in another reading vlog soon. Goodbye.